Welcome again, it's Marek Mulatrix from SciTraining.co.uk. I've got another video for you. Last time we talked about the Mini Bridge, the new panel inside Adobe Photoshop CS5. Fantastic new panel. And I showed you how to manage the images, how to open them in Photoshop as well. You may have, you may remember we opened this Dartmoor 03 image in Camera Raw and then opened it in Photoshop. Now this time I'm going to show you how to create a very interesting high dynamic range effects using the new HDR adjustment in Photoshop CS5. So this will be Photoshop CS5 only. So I'm here in Mini Bridge and I'm going to open this Dartmoor image. Remember, you can either drag and drop the image. So I'm just going to drag and drop it into Photoshop. This will open Camera Raw. I'll leave the settings as they are. I'll just click on Open Image. This will open an image inside Photoshop. This will take a few seconds. Once the image opens, I'm also going to collapse my mini bridge panel. So I've got more space here in the document window. This is a big uh, raw file, so it might take a while. Okay, I'm just going to collapse the mini bridge panel. I'll also zoom in. So I'll view, zoom in. I can also use Control Plus. Okay, that looks good. And I'll go to Image, Adjustments, and HDR Toning. This is a new HDR Toning feature in Photoshop CS5. Okay, let's open it. That's all we've got. I'm going to start with the default. I could use some of the presets here to cycle through them. Um, but, uh, well, let's have a look. For example, we have monochromatic presets. This creates really, really interesting effects. I like the monochromatic high contrast, very nice, but I'm going to leave it in color and I'll crank the colors up. I'll start with the more saturated. This will give me a color image, very nice, very nice image in here. Okay, now what we have here, the radius, the radius will define the size of the glow effect, in the, I mean the edge glow section. So for example, if I drag it to the left or I minimize number of values, I'm going to lose most of the details in the image. That's not what I want here, so I'll just drag it back. And I want to scale it up slightly, about 280. Okay, 282, looks good. Right, now the strength of the effect. With strength of the effect, I'm going to drag it up slightly to about two and a half. This looks good. Okay, that's my before and after so far. Tone and detail. Okay, now the first one we have here is the gamma, and this will adjust the difference between the highlights and the shadows in the image. I'll show you how it looks. If I drag it to the left, it will increase the contrast between shadows and highlights. So I'm going to drag it to about one and a half. Looks good. Okay, exposure, I'm going to leave it as it is, right? Now the details, what I want to do is I want to drag it to the right to increase the contrast in the details. This looks nice. If you look on the horizon, you can see like the light in here on the horizon. This looks really, really nice. Then shadow, shadow and highlight, This will, these two sliders will change the luminance values in the shadows and in the highlights in the image. For example, if I drag this one here to the right, this will brighten the shadow areas. In this case, I want to decrease the brightness of the shadow areas to the, almost to the maximum, maybe not 100, to about 80%. And in the highlights, I'm going to drag it to the right and look what happens to the sky. I can get rid of the sky by dragging the highlight slider to plus 100. Well, I don't want to lose the sky totally, so I'll just drag it to about minus 70. This was before, that's after. Just, just want to brighten it slightly. Okay, then we have the brightness, the usual brightness slider. I'll just drag it to the maximum. I'll leave the saturation on the maximum as it is. And this is my before and after. Very, very interesting effect. I'll just press OK. Now it's converting the image into a high dynamic range image. So you can see how simple it is to create high dynamic range effects with one image only. 
in the next in the later movie i'm going to show you how to create an, a proper hdr image from the whole bunch of images that were creating created using different settings on the camera on the same shot and we convert it into a full scale high dynamic range image so you can see the details in the bright, brightest areas and also in the darkest areas in the image and also we'll try to make the image look really nice in this example we only had one image I um, made a mistake using the raw image because it's really huge and it takes quite a while to convert it into HDR if you look on the tab on my document this is the image in 32 bit and it's only 16 percent um, uh, screen uh, zoomed in okay that's it that's the image and that's before and that's after I'm using control Z on a keyboard before and after fantastic effect really quick and easy thank you very much that's that's for now Marek Mulacic from sitetraining.co.uk more information on my blog Photoshop Lightroom Bridge .co.uk make sure you keep an eye on, on the blog I'm launching a new video series about photography photograph digital photography from scratch it starts end of uh, this month end of June after in, in about a week a week and a half if you're watching it um, today or no okay I'll speak to you soon bye bye